If you're not paying attention, you might miss it, but that's a double forehand from RJ Gann. That's right, she doesn't use a backhand swing, which is a very unique advantage. People get really confused. Um, people's tactics are usually hit to the backhand side, and that doesn't really apply. It's one of the many tools the Pandas will be using in a couple weeks when they head to defend their national championship in Montreal. Our opponents are tough, we train really hard, um, but the advantages are quite small, but I would say that um, any p small advantage is going to make a difference at Nationals. The Pandas aren't worrying too much about the pressure of repeating as national champions. This team is too tight-knit to let that bother them. The Western Championships, which both the Bears and Pandas won, were all the way back in February. So the long layoff in between major competitions gives both teams lots of time to bond. So we try to have at least one social outing a month and we choose fun things, kind of like playing ultimate frisbee, spike ball and uh, beach volleyball. That's what we've been doing this summer. A social gathering gatherings really help us to connect and learn to communicate as well. It's the same thing on the Golden Bears side. The team won gold in 2016 and earned a bronze medal last year. They want to bring that trophy home again and it's their camaraderie and experience that could push them to their goal. A lot of the guys, uh, I've known these guys since I was you know six years old um, and we were friends before the team. We're still you know best friends and I think uh, we carry that mentality into matches, how we support each other, how we uh, we're there for each other. The men's side will be competing in Toronto while the women are in Montreal as the teams play alongside the Canadian Open Tournament at the Rogers Cup. Both cities have felt some extreme heat waves this summer, so it'll be a test of endurance the whole way through. It gets to, you know, 35, 40 degrees of the humidity. Um, so just kind of outside of tennis, fitness is, is huge. Like tennis is obviously a really, you know, fitness dependent sport. If you're not fit, you're not going to be successful. We definitely try to increase our fitness and uh, do more endurance and do more sprinting. The teams have a couple more practices booked to fine tune anything and will head off to Ontario and Quebec feeling confident and prepared for the intense, hot and gratifying experience that awaits them. I think we're there. I think we're. I think we've prepared the best we can, and when we and when we get there, I think we just need to give it the best fight we have. The pressure is always going to be on. I think for every single one of us, but mostly due to the fact that we worked really hard bringing up to it. You can follow updates on all the matches by checking out the Golden Bears and Pandas Tennis Twitter accounts down below, and follow at Savile Tennis as well. For the Golden Bears and Pandas, I'm Daniil Anselmi.